What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Omar RPG. I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And today, we are back with more Vinland Saga. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, we are going to get straight into it today because Torfin versus... Sorry, I'm sorting out my OBS. I should be more organized, I know. Torfin versus... Snake. Snake! Knowing this show, they might not even fight. They might just have a conversation. Someone might build a farm and then Bob's your uncle. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, no, I have a feeling we're going to have a standoff. Hands may well be thrown. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So, screw the intro. We're getting straight into it. Before we do, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I really hope... Uh, the people that are watching the Vinland Saga reactions are enjoying them. Let me know your favorite character and why. I really do look forward to reading the comments all the time. Also, check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash AmaroRPG. Always like a uh, couple of episodes ahead over there. Not for Vinland Saga, obviously, because it comes out weekly. But you're going to get it the day it comes out most of the time, sort of, but probably not. And uh, obviously, you've got Hunter x Hunter, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood coming around the corner. A lot of uh, episodes for those. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I think I'm going to wait for the first arc of Hunter x Hunter to finish. And then Full Metal Alchemist shall begin. Something along those lines. Or maybe I just go hard in the paint on Hunter x Hunter. And just... I don't know. We'll see. I'm still deliberating if I should switch between them. Or just finish Hunter x Hunter. And then uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We'll see. Um, once we're done with Vinland Saga, we're going to be jumping into season three of demon slayer so i really like the format i've got right now um remember when i said i wasn't going to do an intro i really like the format i've got now of reacting to a uh new anime that's coming out like weekly and then reacting to a legendary anime side by side um so yeah that's been brilliant any anime you want me to watch that's new that's coming out after uh vinland saga and uh season three of demon slayer that i should keep an eye out on Eye out on, eye out for, let me know. Anyway, Patreon, follow my socials. Let's do this. Yeah, they're throwing hands. Mm, that sword is so, so badass. Him with the roundhouse kick to the face. Damn! Close! Nice. Sick. Sliced him. I love how they're both like questioning each other and the viewers are in the same well sorry sorry but the viewers aren't in the same boat as Snake the viewers are in the same boat as Torfin right but that's really cool I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind though because I'm not sure what they said after that I really hope we learn about Snake's background and why he's got this sword and <laughs> he's going for the kill, bro. I, I love how he's like fencing. Also, he he's just missing, bro. Look, you can see the hairs. Oof. Didn't see that though. Hey, 
They're just gonna stab him in the head. お願い。見逃してください。虫の言うこと言ってんじゃねえぞ。アルネイズ。こいつは俺の手下を5人も殺した。うん。許せるわけがねえ。蛇。お前の手下たちにはわしはできうる限りの弔いをする。わしの畑
エイナルさんね本当に何とお礼を言っていいか無茶だアルメイズさんガルザルさんはもういいわ見送ってください。そなたは。そなたは私の新たな誇りヒャルティガルザルの子ヒャルティ父は戦っていこう父はねお前が誇れる名誉のために Freaking adorable, bro. Oh man. Life flashing before his eyes. I think she should tell him the truth. I'm 
しく疲れただけだ休ませてくれ O7s、oh, That's a good transition. This guy got introduced, what, was it two episodes ago? And all, such a good mi mini story, I guess, of his character and how one wrong decision can just... How one important decision in your life can just you get it wrong, man. Especially back then. Everything around you can crumble. Everything. I guess that confirms that his son's probably dead as well. I guess she just wanted that. I wonder if she's going to die as well. Damn. Who knows? They'll probably just lock her up. Oh, what a show. I love, absolutely love how it like stretched out that whole, that whole episode was just, we had that amazing fight at the beginning, but then the whole rest of the episode is just him slowly. I know this sounds messed up, but it's just, it's, it was just him slowly dying. Like it doesn't, it wasn't just like a, he dies, lays down, and, you know, yeah, I don't know, man, it was just so well done, and so differently done, I guess she wanted them to, like, be free and together at last, I don't know, what would you guys have done, I, I think, you know what, I guess, she knows, obviously, her husband the best, um, and I guess she, she thought, you know what, not telling him that Hjalti, I think his name is, their, their, their kid, didn't get taken away, and, you know, he's safe and he's with his older brother and stuff. And I guess he'd been through so much pain and strife and all that. That it was just, you know what, he didn't, she was thinking in, in her head, you know what, I can't tell him the worst possible news. Which is an interesting way. And I kind of like that they did that. Obviously, MVP goes to Gardor. Um, it's Gardor. Garder. Amazing voice acting as well. Um, just the whole scene, the beautiful piano in the background. You know that guy's just freestyling, having fun on the piano, probably with shedding tears as he's playing it. And that was just peak Vinland Saga. Amazing fight. After that, the sadness of the, the world that they're in. Beautiful visuals. It was almost like they were leaving the storm as well. I don't know if anyone else got that vibe. You know how like it was you could see like it was sunny and they were like leaving the storm behind them kind of in the clouds um every time he was looking up and was like seeing that blue light and literally his life flashed before his eyes and it was so well done obviously my favorite episode my favorite part was this uh 
the end. The end when he saw his son. That was cherry on the top. Really was super sad. Super sad. But it didn't make me cry. Because I have a heart of stone. And the only thing that can make me cry is when someone steals the final piece of cake. So if that ever happens in an anime, let me know. But yeah, that was super sad. Really well done. Great character. Again, like I said, he'd been in the show, what, two, three episodes? And look at that. It's like he had his own mini arc and it was so expertly done. Yeah. Badass how he just choked out Snake as well after being stabbed. Um, I'm glad the plot armor wasn't strong. Uh, you know Reyna would have survived that stab. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, great episode. Great anime. What what else can I say? Every episode is a literal 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, 9.5, some 10s. It's just so consistently amazing. And how many episodes do we have left? What, seven? Seven, eight, ep seven episodes. Well, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm pretty sure season one was 24. I hope this one's 24 as well. Yeah, I love how they're just consistently coming out with 24 episodes. They're not doing that annoying thing that anime seem to do where it's like, yep, season one is 24 episodes. Then we're going to have a movie. Then season two will be 12. Then season 3.5 will be 14 episodes, but you have to delete one because one's filler. Then season four will be four episodes, but there'll be a film afterwards and a film before. Oh, and you've got some OVAs as well. It's nice to just, you know, kind of just have season one, season two. So well done, Villain Saga. It's crazy that you have to say that, but can we just get a well done, Villain Saga, for just having season one and two and consistent episodes, 24, 24. No confusion. Now that I've said this, I have full on jinxed it. Expect season 2.5, Ask Lads OVAs. I ain't gonna lie, I would, I would love that. Oh, man. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the reactions. Be sure to like and subscribe if you do. Check out my Patreon. I will see you guys next time for more Vinland Saga. Bye-bye. Huh?